What do you think you're doing, mister? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Making Clouds with Mudflap. We're just going to turn on the old solo here and start our wonderful session out. Hopefully we've got some battery life to use it. Because I haven't charged it since our last little adventure. Anyways, we wander around the backyard today. It's getting to be a little bit darker out. A little after 6 o'clock. Doggies are wanting to play, seeing as it's 12 degrees out. It's going up to 16 tomorrow and like minus 10 the day after that. So, wonderful springtime here, almost springtime, I guess, in southwestern Ontario. You just never know what you're going to get, especially this year. Ooh. She's a little breezy, so hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. <clears throat> Try a little different method today. I was going to climb a tree in honor of uh, the Mighty Spoon Hooner, but uh, yeah, not this little one. I need something that can hold my big ones. So we've got some bubble cushion here. Yeah, that's our regular old standby. I was going to grind up something different and try it today, just to have something different, but seeing as I'm on a limited time with the sun here, and as you can tell, it's a little dark with the clouds moving in. Lots and lots of geese uh, this year early. I've heard robins. And I said the I said earlier the tundra swans are out are out in the waterways much earlier than they've been in at least 30 years. So it is a weird time here. We're up to four, one more notch, and we'll be on our way. It's the last day of February. Uh, Shrove. Tuesday here, Pancake Tuesday. Shrove Tuesday is held 47 days before Easter, so that's why it moves around all the time. And our little pancake meal tonight is going to consist of some fruit. Hey, baby. <laughs> Am I the fruit? Some ham? No. And some maple syrup, of course. Uh, it's called Margie. Is it that that's what the Mardi Gras is actually called? I know it's Fat Tuesday in the U.S. I don't know if they celebrate it anywhere else. And I've got to say that about uh, having the YouTube channels. It has opened my eyes to other things that people celebrate in that. Because I'm not just talking to myself. <laughs> Which I usually am anyways. Anymore. So. Makes me wonder. That's all. And like I've said to all of you before. That if you want a vaporizer that actually gives you lots of flavors and is portable it's the solo not the biggest clouds but clouds it's just like any vaporizer and we've, I've talked about it before you just got to draw slow and steady it's not like you're trying to keep an ember burning you just take a long steady pull and the flavors will just knock your face off That was always my thing with vaporizing, was being able to have the taste, not that popcorniness, which a lot of people complain about. I don't really like it either. It lets me know I'm either one getting close to combusting it or it's done, really. It doesn't, just doesn't have that nice flavor anymore. <coughs> oh, there's old Teddy back there. Tess is uh, still doing her um, perimeter search. See her over there. Oh, not something I get to do too often. Uh, wander around and smoke like this, especially with, as you can see, lots of neighbors. They're usually out and about. Uh, Hank's not next door anymore, so we've only got the one dog there. And uh, two doors down, where they had two dogs, they've moved away too, so... Looks like everybody's getting out. Hopefully this isn't moving around too much. Like I said, it's trying something different here. <coughs> Another rather quick day at work went by really, really fast. 
I was looking forward to getting home and medicating. Got to talk to Nerdsy a little bit at lunchtime today and tried to uh, reply to a few comments. And uh, MCM, thanks for the comment about Teddy. You know what? Sometimes I think I'm putting too much uh, dog stuff into my videos, but they are a big part of my life. And to know that you guys actually like seeing them makes me feel good. It really does. I like watching videos with other people and they're showing their dogs. And Chris and Emma and uh, Chili Boo and the Five Dog Alarm. I love that shit. I mean, even Pug One with the pugs and go visit my friends. Yeah, I'm a dog guy. Oh, that was a fair cloud. It tastes really good. I turned it up a notch. It's starting to get a little dark out here. Hopefully we've got enough light to finish this little session off with you. And then we'll uh, get in and make some pancakes. We've got to wake Karen up. Gets up and has supper with me every night. And then she'll uh, stick around for a little bit. We'll chat and then she'll head to bed. Probably uh, grab my rosin out tonight and do a little bit more of that Ted Delahaye's rosin that I got from On The Hash. Check them out on Instagram. <laughs> Got some nice looking stuff, and uh, yeah, the waxes have flavor galore. Me and my flavors again, I'm always talking about the flavors. For me, it's a big part of my cannabis use, especially as a vaporizer. <coughs> I keep hearing these geese, but I don't see any. Maybe if uh, I was supposed to get cold again, I just thought it'd be really nice tomorrow morning, especially, it would be really nice to head up to Grand Bend, and that's the area where all the tundra swans are near the provincial park, the pinery up there. It could be pretty cool, but. And I am going to Detroit on March the 10th for a hockey game to see the Blackhawks play Friday night. So, problem being, I'm going on a bus trip. I'm not driving, so I can't really get away. If somebody wants to meet me there, I think we'll probably be there like 5 o'clock. Other than that, I will be on the Krispies. And that's the best thing about edibles. So It's going to be a very busy month next month between the hockey game uh, next month tomorrow. We've got a concert on the 22nd. We've got the freaking Godforsaken and the beautiful Emma coming down on the uh, 29th. And I've got a few days off then. March break's always super busy for me because the schools are closed and uh, well, we do school work and what better time to get in there and do a week's worth of work. I think I got like 10 schools to do that week. Got another door delivery that week of about 30 doors in Toronto. We'll have to head down and unload. So she's going to be a good busy month. And of course, spending some time with you guys. But hey, I'm going to medicate anyway, so why not join me? Especially if you're in a cold, blustery area right now and you can't get out. Hopefully you got enough light to enjoy this time with me. Hopefully, <coughs> hopefully you're making some clouds. Because that's what our whole goal is here, you guys joining me. Whether it be a vapor cloud, a joint cloud, a bong cloud, a sound cloud. A dab cloud. What other kind of cloud could you have? Hash clouds, bubble hash. Oh, there they go. The V formation. I should take you over to that neighborhood there. It's so dirty over there with the construction and that and the roads and, and the snow that I don't really wanna take the dogs over there, but I've got, uh, I don't even know how many houses over there now. There's a couple more, trying to catch up. <laughs> so it's been kind of quiet on the cannabis front. I haven't heard too much today. Then again, I was a little busy of not being able to uh, check things out. I didn't really get to do much when I got home. Got back from the store, had to pick up some stuff for the wife on the way home. <coughs> Pick up some more blood oranges. They must be in season or something. They come around every once in a while. 
I do like to get the different fruit when we can. Oh, well, looks like Mr. Teddy wants to play. Hey, Ted Word. Hey, Teddy. Hey, bud. Teddy boy. Oh, it's coming back to me. Sorry, buddy. Got the old one. Teddy. Teddy. Go get the new one. Go get it. Oh, Tess has got it. Nobody's playing now. <laughs> Anyways, I left my vaporizer on the ground. <coughs> <coughs> You can get a cough off a of vapor. Sometimes that's not too bad. Um, I find uh, I don't usually. Oh, I've got a speed wobble there. I had a little bit of a rut. But sometimes it's the volume more so than it actually irritating your throat. Starting to get a little bit, uh, I've turned it up uh, one more notch than I normally did. I have it at six instead of five, and I can taste that it's getting to near completion. Why am I breathing heavy? Must have been all that bending over. Alright, well I'm going to set this up on the ledge and play a little bit with my doggies. Thanks for joining me tonight for this little outside session of making clouds with one flap. Hopefully you'll come back tomorrow, make some more clouds and be proud of them. Cheers! Done. I just turned it off. <coughs> hmm. Still tasty, huh? <laughs> Actually, too bad. There we go. She's off. <laughs>